A high stakes showdown as President Barack Obama and challenger Mitt Romney took the stage in Denver to go head to head for the first time. An estimated 60 million Americans tuned in to watch this critical moment in an often contentious presidential campaign with the election just 34 days away. Crucial swing voters still undecided. With Romney trailing in the polls, time running short, tonight could be his turning point. Here's how it went down. They came out, shook hands, ready for the main event. But President Obama began soft, very soft. A shout out to the First Lady. I just want to wish, uh, sweetie, uh, you happy anniversary and let you know that a year from now we will not be celebrating it in front of 40 million people. Romney graciously followed suit with an easy quip. And congratulations to you, Mr. President, on your anniversary. I'm sure this was the mo most romantic place you could imagine <laughs> here, here with me. So. And then they got down to business. The subject, jobs. Romney took it to the president from the get-go. Middle-income families are being crushed. It was clear and direct and aggressive. Romney seemed on his game and ready for a fight, hammering away at the grim economic track record of the last four years. When the president took office, 32 million people on food stamps, 47 million on food stamps today. Economic growth this year, slower than last year, and last year slower than the year before. Going forward with the status quo is not going to cut it for the American people who are struggling today. President Obama seemed at first to wander a bit, but found his footing with an answer that slammed Romney as the heir of failed trickle-down economics. Math, common sense, and our history uh, shows us that's not a recipe for job growth. Oh, look, we've tried this. The approach that Governor Romney is talking about is the same sales pitch that was made in 2001 and 2003. And it all culminated in the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. The body language was fascinating tonight. So Romney spoke directly to, to the president cash, in his answers. Obama spoke mostly to the moderator, Jim Lehrer of PBS. You said you cut the deficit in half. It's now four years later. We still have trillion dollar deficits. The CBO says we'll have a trillion dollar deficit each of the next four years. These two men, they are virtually strangers to each other personally. They've only met in person three times before tonight, most recently in passing on a debate stage in New Hampshire way back in 2008 when Republicans followed Democrats in debate three days before the primary. And there was this brief encounter on the campaign trail in 2007. Good luck, Good luck to you today. You're back. And while they have both reached the pinnacle of party politics, they are so different. Their talents and their paths to power and their debate styles. So much at stake on that stage tonight. This showdown comes at what might be the critical moment in this campaign, a hinge of political history. Polls show the race tightening, just 34 days left in this campaign. And you can already sense in the crowds the special energy of the home stretch. But tonight, surprisingly, and in contrast to the daily scrap on the trail, no zingers, no roundhouse punches, hardly any humor. Instead, long answers, sometimes dense arguments. The president struggled to score points on what polls show is Romney's biggest vulnerability. Most voters believe he favors the rich. And Obama tried to portray the Romney-Ryan plan for Medicare in that light. When you move to a voucher system, you are putting seniors at the mercy of those insurance companies. And over time, if traditional Medicare has decayed or fallen apart, then they're stuck. For his part, Romney zeroed in on what may be Obama's big vulnerability, the unpopularity of his health care plan, and the sense that he took his eye off the economic ball when he pushed for it. I just don't know how the president could have come into office facing 23 million people out of work, rising unemployment, an economic crisis at the, at the kitchen table, and spent his energy and passion for two years fighting for Obamacare instead of fighting for jobs for the American people. President Obama and Governor Romney have been battling it out on the stump, barnstorming the swing states and flooding the airways with increasingly negative ads. Obama quietly ended work requirements for welfare. You wouldn't have to work and wouldn't have to train for a job. In the crosshairs, on the stump and in the Obama ads, 47% of the people who vote for the president no matter what. That infamous tape of Romney seeming to write off millions of Americans. Who believe that they're entitled to health care, to food, to housing. But 
Astonishingly, in the debate tonight, those comments never came up. Obama declined an opportunity or simply whiffed when given the chance. When he was asked a broad question on the role of government, he ended up talking about, well, something. In the middle of the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln uh, said, let's help to finance the transcontinental railroad. Romney's response was First, clear, practiced, and forcefully and delivered. We have a responsibility to protect the lives and liberties of our people, and that means a military second to none. I do not believe... At the end, they shook hands, and then a moment of togetherness, the Obamas and the Romneys on stage. But even as they were enjoying a little bipartisanship, both sides began spinning and readying for the next round.